Hey everybody, welcome back to another weekly vlog. So I'm vlogging again, obviously. This is why I'm doing a weekly vlog. I'm actually in my PJs because I was working this morning. I started at five, I finished at 12. So seven hours is a long time to be at work. But anyway, I come back, had my lunch. I also had to shower and wash my hair because you know, I need to keep my hair nice and washed. It's something worse than having greasy hair. I'm basically kind of pamping myself a bit. I'm also having a no skin. I'm also having a no makeup day because my skin is very spotty. I'm very pink. I think it's because I've literally just finished drying my hair and it feels like it's pink. You're not pink. Yeah, because it's obviously warm on the face and stuff, it's obviously made my face go red pink. Oh my god, I cannot actually talk today. I think it's because I've been up since four this morning. But basically, I've had a parcel arrive from Amazon. I never realised Amazon even delivered things in paper bags. But I mean, it's a new revolution, isn't it? You know, like paper is becoming a new source for packaging and everything and cardboard and stuff. Please excuse the fact I am in my PJs because honestly... It is that time of the month as well, everyone. Um, I do not... Yeah, the last thing I want to be doing is basically chilling in jeans or leggings. It is basically for those pages, but yeah. I basically ordered a makeup case yesterday afternoon, I'd say like four o'clock or something, and it had the option for free delivery and it take up to uh, five days or the next day delivery 4.99 i was thinking 4.99 for delivery like if next day delivery is expensive like i would want to pay 4.99 if i can wait a few days i didn't pay for postage but it arrived this morning so it's not even taken 24 hours since it arrived i basically needed a new makeup case because in my the silver one it's they're too heavy and this is meant to, this is actually really good for your, your makeup i was nearly gonna buy a made by mitchell one but yeah, this is 10 pounds the cheaper and it may not be as nice on the outside but it's actually bigger in size so i got a large makeup case and basically what it says it's a built for makeup so it's got different inserts and it's just this it's actually fairly nice there's nothing wrong with it and you can also kind of you can also attach this on to like a a suitcase type of thing on there which is really good and it's also got like a little strap and stuff the one thing i will say i have noticed a few threads already um yeah, but they can be taken off but this is it it's got like the gold and the zip and everything it is it does seem to be very good quality wise if twenty nine ninety nine on Amazon, I do prefer Amazon over eBay for stuff. Oh yeah, here it is. So it's basically insert to makeup. How good is that? It's exactly the same as made by Mitchell One. I'm not gonna lie, it it, it pretty much is. And these are basically what's that material called? I don't know what that material is called, but it's a good material for makeup anyway. Yeah, but these inserts you can take them in and out so easily. It, it's actually really spacious because if you think if these weren't in here you probably lose a lot more space but i'm, I'm basically going to use this for foundations concealers uh, blushes highlighters and then i'm actually going to be using my other one for eyelashes and just like other bits the good thing is it also has like a little kind of thing here velcro it's got an insert for palettes on the inside which is actually really good to have a zip and this is going to be good for you know, my bigger palettes because they don't actually fit in you know, the makeup case. It's got like a makeup brush holder. The 29 I don't think it was too bad. Open it up. Here is all of my kind of face makeup, a few kind of face and eye palettes. So I have all the foundations, the moisturiser. So there's two kind of layers of foundations i do have some more foundations here because i obviously have to offer a wide variation of shades i then have my primer and concealers in there eye bases eyelash glue and eyebrow pomade yeah like i've got like face stuff and eye stuff in there i've got 
all of my faces in here. So highlighters, your bronzers, your blushes, everything like that. And then in here I do have yeah, my Be Perfect Carnival palette. Yeah, that's the only palette I'm keeping in there just because I don't they want to add too many palettes just kind of bulk it up. Oh my goodness, why do we, why do I look so tired now? Basically, I've come home from work. I went in for half nine and I left at five. So I've worked about eight and a half hours. Is, is that right? Or is it seven and a half? I don't know. I do not know, but... a minute, guys. I'm now home anyway. I'm looking very tan because... I used the Garnier Summer Body Gradual Tan. I am feeling fairly cold now only because I've got this lovely bodysuit on and as lovely as it is, I'm a bit cold now because it's been really warm all day but it's got to the time where it's starting to get a bit cold now so I am going to put my dressing gown on. But yeah, look how brown I look now. I love being nice and brown. There's no better feeling but yeah. So basically, Mum has actually bought me some sun cream for my holiday, bless her, which is really kind. And I think I have got the parcel, which really should have arrived today, but I can't see it anywhere. So I'm going to have a look in the back room and see if she's, if it is there. But basically, my mum has bought me some sun cream for her holidays because obviously, when it comes like to buying stuff for holidays, I like to kind of get things as soon after like we've booked the holidays because it gets me excited you know so yeah i'm just gonna put my slippers on these are the best things in the world yeah so i'm gonna see you know, what type of sun cream it's got me i mean i already bought some from home bargains but obviously if two people need more than just the one so yeah i'm gonna go out and see what she's got and hopefully my parcel's arrived i don't know the guys i am really annoyed and i am I have to be annoyed for this reason because basically I ordered the two or poly dresses separately and they're meant to arrive by Friday so I thought oh it'll be here by the time I get home after work today so I was really excited to look for like more poly parcel turns out it's already been delivered but I've not had a notification about it like no message or email or anything and it's obviously been delivered by Hermes and Hermes have been taken over by a different company. I've just got to wait here until they arrive. So it's not good. It really isn't good. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Oh yeah and I've also got a FedEx parcel arriving. It's meant to be here by six o'clock today. It still hasn't turned up. Yeah so so far no good. I'm literally stood by the window just trying to look out for a delivery person and my neighbours. I've just had a couple of all poly parcels arrived. Now, one of the dresses is a mistake because I had this in my basket and then I went back to it and it still said it was a size 6 and then when, like, after I ordered it, I checked the order confirmation and it said it was a size 12. Now, I am a size 6, so... I am still going to try this on, but most likely I want to send this back because it's going to be way too big, I'd say. But I know all poly sizing is small, but I think it is still going to be too big. Who knows? It might actually fit me, I don't know. And then this one is my size and it's really cute as well. This dress is lovely, but this is so much nicer for holiday because these are both for holiday. I'm only keeping the one. It will be this one. Unless it does fit me, who knows. But yeah, I am going to open them both and I'll show you them both on. Here is the first dress. Excuse with really the messy in the mirror I need to clean it but basically it is the size the six dress it's like it's got like mini flowers in it it's really cute and it was half price in the sale it makes my bum look so good so basically I am I am gonna still try on the other dress but this dress is stunning and obviously with like a bit of gradual tan on it makes me look so nice in my opinion I'm not being like self-obsessed or big headed but I struggle to find dresses that suit me these days. So, and it's actually strapless. And because it's got like the rubbery the thing inside, it actually is staying up. So, I'm really happy with that. But now I'm going to FaceTime Scott and show him this dress. But yeah, it's so cute. And here is the size 12 dress. Obviously, it is very big, but it's actually smaller than what I was expecting. 
yeah the boob area mind is so big for like in my boobs because i don't have any boobs basically but yeah it's a lovely dress it's just a shame it didn't update in my basket and say it was sold out in the six that's really annoying at least i have got this beautiful pink one for holiday it's very holiday themed it's beautiful it was only 20 pounds and so was this one you look at the color difference between my arms and my legs oh my god it's embarrassing but yeah it's just a shame this is this is sold out in my size <laughs> i'm in the bathroom everyone as you can tell i've literally just cleaned my face they're using this cerebral cleanser it's the in normal to oily skin and it's actually really good i'm now going in with my green mask stick if you've never heard me raving about the dish you need to get to know it's from amazon it's by this brand e l a i m e i um but yeah basically i used my default room brush if you had two white heads i had one there and one there and it's all started bleeding and took the head off and that's a good thing because at least i can kind of get yeah, the cleanser to it and now i'm actually using this it's so good it's tea tree scented i know i go on about this all the time but oh my god my blackheads have literally disappeared the amount of spots on my face have a decreased i'd say by around 50 yeah, percent which is really good for someone who does that very oily skin like me yeah like the blackheads on my nose especially oh my god there's it's literally vanishing and it's so good to see right so i'm home from work oh my god it's so warm today i'm so happy i only have this top on it's from primark and case wondering it's so nice but basically i have had an all poly part uh, not an all poly parcel yesterday but speaking of all poly um there's someone who's actually buying you know, the size 12 dress on facebook marketplace yeah, they're gonna collect it in around half an hour, so that's pretty good. But anyway, with that light is better basically. I have had a parcel from I saw it first arrive because I ordered some black delivery shorts and I also ordered um a, a co-ward and oh my god to the co-ward is so nice so I am gonna hopefully show you all what it's like if I can open this parcel, something worse than something it's too big when you order it but i'm guessing i'm just gonna have to cut the bag open like this the world is a green zebra print it's so nice so i'll actually show you that first i've got the skirt and then the, the the kind of blazer top to go with it it's so nice and it's selling out really quickly so i thought I'll, I'll get it while i can so here's the skirt how cute is that i'm hoping i suit it i'm hoping i do I will put it on for you all. And then, here is the top. I believe this thing. I feel as if I'm either going to look really swamped in this or it, it's not going to suit me, but I'm hoping it, it will. It just have shoulder pads. It's just kind of put me off, but that's that set. It'll also look better on. And then, I've got some black delivery shorts because I've always wanted some. And they've also been sold out in my size, so they're just these full leather petite high waisted uh, black shorts, and it's just these can go with bodysuits and stuff, really. Yeah, they're fairly cute, so I'm gonna try them on and show you guys these, but these are really nice as well. So, yes, yeah, so that's all I got. So I think I only spent like 30 odd pounds, maybe 40 pounds, but it's obviously worth it. And oh my god, the weather today is so nice, it's actually so bright. Here is the cupboard. I don't even think. I even have to say anything about this, but <laughs> it's so big. You know, the top is actually really big on me. I mean, you know, the skirt actually fits me okay, but it's just they're not my style. Like, and this is a size six, and I am a six and closer reference. It was actually sold out in a four, so maybe if it wasn't sold out in a four, I might have got the four. But <laughs> I look like a school teacher or something. I literally look like a school teacher. It isn't even funny. Like, I look horrible. And here are the shorts. <laughs> They obviously do not go with his top, you know, but here they are. I really like them. They're very cool. Yeah, they're very comfortable to wear. And these are a size 6 and actually fit me compared to with the other outfit. Obviously not with this top because it makes me look pregnant or something. I don't know. You don't even go, yeah, but I'm I'm very happy with that. I'm definitely keeping the shorts and I think they were only 9 99 Or maybe slightly more. I can't really remember, but yeah, I'm definitely sending that back because that is absolutely disgusting on me 
it may look beautiful on someone else but on myself just no it isn't a vibe <laughs> but another lovely day is today like it's actually so warm and i've actually been out the house already i had a makeup client so i'm i'm back home now and i am i'm not really doing much i've got to upload a youtube video i got it to last night and the silly me i put two weekly vlogs together i never even realized and like it came to like an hour and a half and i don't film like do that much content in one week you know what i mean but yeah so now anyway i am now home my dad's just going into town but i'm going to town later with scott and his granddad hopefully because he's actually going out for like the lunch with his granddad but yeah it's actually so warm today but i've got my top shop top on this top is so cute. I've had it for like a couple of years now, possibly, and I love it. They've done some shopping in Primark, have we, Scott? Yeah. They've got some holiday stuff. Um, I spent more than you. Yeah, just actually, I got some yeah, really nice pants. The shirt was a tenner, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I got some really nice pants from TK Maxx and oh, no, you spent the other way, Zara. They were probably like a similar amount, actually, yeah, but I got some pants. And yeah, there was Zara pants, like a red kind of, a red and white kind of dog tooth thing. So cute, so I'm hoping it's for me. But I didn't try them on. Oh yeah, the kitchen's there, so nice. But yeah. It's so That's sunny better. today. Look at that. It was freezing just then. I Wind. know. Yeah, but you're freezing now. Yeah. I know. Maybe I should go back to the car because I keep parking and done out car parks. The pants are a bit of a war. So they're now walking back. I've been in a few shops, but it wasn't a lot. You'd be annoyed if the train was just there, wouldn't you? Oh, I know. You wouldn't be late and you had to go all the way around. I know. Oh, the show is anything in Carlisle, honestly. I would not recommend it. <laughs> Why not? You know, I don't know. You know, I was going to me about the shoe. Well, I don't know. Your people's preferences. We are back from the B shops. They're going to show you what we bought. If we haven't bought, like, with too much, because we're actually, like, a lot in Primark and a few other shops, so I just kind of got bits and bobs. But I basically got in Primark, I think it was 250. It's like this hair tie type of thing, it's like a bandana thing, but you can also wear it as like a. <laughs> it makes it look like an old lady when I have it this way, but you meant to kind of put it in your hair and kind of like create like different styles of it. Um, Wi Fi has gone off again. Yeah, and it's meant to be really cute. I don't know like, if I'm going to be able to put it off properly. Of course you will, we just need to get it on right. Yes, that was 215, it's got like the flowers on it. And then got the, the bikini bottoms and a six, it was the last size six, I was very lucky and they were three pounds. didn't actually have the top, but I'm hoping the next time I go in, it'll have some, but it's like the kind of like material, so cute. Um, and then also got the Sony Colours cap for holiday. Because you need to protect your head and a fairly suit this, I think. Got these pants they're from TK Maxx, they're from Zara. They're size 8, but oh, you wear like an extra small hanger. Um, you know, they're kind of slightly flared, but not too flared. If I suit them, I'm just going to keep them. I hope I do. But then I just they're basically stocked up on cotton pads. So I've got like the two packs of oval, and I've got three or four packs of the, the, the round ones just because I need them for the business, really. I'm for myself, so I'm all fucked up on them. But yeah, I did get quite a bit, but not a lot, well, at the same time. Fox Tan, the Rapid, is it Elixir, I think it's called. And it, it basically helps your tan, and it actually does work, because I've used this on, on two holidays, I've had tan lines, the first ever time. It's 14 99 so like, it's fairly pricey, but it does work, and it also smells really nice, and it's good stuff. So I'm taking it on holiday. Then for anything else, I got the two my silicone spotters, which is because it's just handy to stock up, and at least I won't have to go like into Prime and get some more again. You know, and they were two pounds each. Always really good. Then I think Scott just got yeah, that's his slippers. Can I show the vlog? Mm -hmm. He got a couple of t-shirts for holiday. This is really cool. It's four pounds. It's only seven. It's like a sunrise top. How cool is that? Like, you can wear it over stuff, or like you can wear it for like a. I probably wouldn't have paid. Daytime. 
I probably wouldn't have paid seven pound for it. Though. Oh no, but I mean, it is fairly cool, and that is does that in a medium, very nice. You then also got a basic plain top. They're just kind of wearing on holiday, maybe like at the beach and stuff as well. And that was two pounds in the medium, baby blue. You then actually got this really nice uh, shirty kind of top. Like a white t-shirt underneath it. Yeah, how nice is that? And that was ten pounds. It does really suit it, and it's like a waffle material. It's like it is really nice. They're very trendy. And then he got two pairs of sunglasses. He got yeah, one pair for three pounds. I'm gonna try these on actually just to see what they look like. Hey, the small ones. Yeah. Yeah, they're fairly cool. Do you suit them actually? Yeah. Ah, I like them. They're nice. They've kind of got they've got a bit of green in the drawers and here. Also, these ones as well. You know, these are 150. You can never go wrong with cheap sunglasses. So, if you have made a good start on holiday shopping, you're obviously not finished yet, but we're getting there. So, I'm just having a look at receipts. So, I'm just going to spend £36 in the Primark. I don't think it's too bad. Um, I'm 14 dollars 99 super drug, obviously. But, yeah, so looking forward to, you know, kind of going on holiday now. Fingers crossed, I'll still be able to go. All I have to do is just sort. There'll be airport parking, we've got to get um, the currency, we've got to sort the insurance out. Um, and obviously wait for our passports to come back as well because I was both expired a month after each other. So a good job of realised because like imagine if you want to realise you're now with six weeks until we go to like, oh my goodness. But yeah, are you happy with the thing you got to do? Mm, yeah. I really like this top, I do like it. You're very nice, yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna try these pants on, hopefully they fit me. I mean, they literally have so much Zara clothing in there, it's insane. Um, and some really nice bits actually, like, it's really good, yeah. But anyway, that's why there's stuff in there, you can keep the fire out bag. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try this top on. I'll let you know if I like it. But here are the pants. They actually fit me really nicely, like, they're like a petite flare type of pants and they're actually really cool. So like if you've got a white bodysuit, they look really nice. It's got the claims to think that these two look nice together, but I don't think they do. I just think you need to jump out of your comfort zone a bit. You know I, I... It's even got pockets. I know. Like oh yeah, oh yeah, fake pockets. But yeah, they're really cute. And these were an extra small in a TK Maxx. So definitely have a look in TK Maxx because I have a lot of Zara clothing. Hmm? We'll get a nice little bag for them, couldn't we? Oh, I, I could use my little Chanel bag over there. Massive. Oh, yeah. It's little about that. <laughs> I, I was actually thinking of taking it on holiday because it's... Think about the weight. You don't need much on holiday. It's no. Bags. True. We've gone for a run and I'm walking now for the catch up with Scott. Oh, my God. Yeah. I like I don't have any hair as well. We have done a quarter of a mile so far. Like it's up a hill, it's so tiring. So yeah, I just say, I've got a Primax set on. Oh my God. We're back home from our run, oh my God. How many miles was it? Only two in the big. Oh my God, but- I was a core workout after that. Well. He did a core workout after that and now he's stretching, but oh my God. It was only two miles, but it only took us 20 minutes. So that's 10 minutes per mile, really. It took us less than 20 minutes. But oh my god, I feel so tired. But this set was actually really good to be in. It actually fits very well. It's one of the Primark ones, but yeah. I'm very excited because I'm like, you're having a roast dinner today, like a beef roast dinner. So I'm looking forward to that. You know, but yeah. You just got stretching, but ah. Uh, you need to stretch because you'll be sore tomorrow if you don't stretch. Oh, oh well. Okay then. I'll listen to my personal you trainer. Only ran half a mile. I ran and walked. They ran and walked. I just kind of had like. Stop. Didn't give up. Exactly. Yeah, well, I'm going to do some uh, stretching now, then, guys, because uh, you know, my personal trainer's telling me to do it, so. <laughs> yeah. It's what we need after a run, isn't it? It is indeed. Food. It's Monday. Welcome to Monday, guys. <laughs> yeah, basically. What comes on? Oh, not no, a pound not zone. Really. We were basically going on a walk this morning and like we were talking to town because silly me forgot to uh, get a Mother's Day card and obviously silly this me. Sunday it is going to be Mother's Day and um, I also need to pop to home bargains. Oh my god, typical girl need to get stuff but 
Yeah. Um, Your plants smell like sick. It's just like <laughs> yeah, bits and bobs really that we need. But we have managed to get all of our holiday stuff ready, haven't we, for holiday? No, we haven't. I haven't. You're well, nearly. You've got like a suitcase full. You've got, remember we're sharing a suitcase, right? Oh, yeah. oh, my clothes are tiny. Good job. You don't be so silly. And then we've got a cabin a cases as well. Don't worry about that. So that's well, all right. I don't think we have a case smaller for the cabin. I don't. Well, I do. I've got a small one. The blue one? Yeah. Yeah, so... so we're gonna you have to look for like a cabin case for you then. Oh, I'll set my backpack. Backpack's fine, I don't need I've got my machine or hold all, which is small. No, it's not. It has to fit into a box when you go in. It has to fit okay. into a box, oh, roughly speaking. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so... We're going to go on, like, on a walk. I've got my shades and I've got... Yeah, my hill figure jumper on. I've got oh, yeah, the bone and tea set on. Um, it is very warm again today. It's like... I'm just going to make the most of the weather. I'm off work again today, so I am going back tomorrow, which I'm... Me too. Obviously very excited about, you know. Hey. No, obviously Your, not. Your um, photo of you and Daisy's tippled over. I know, yeah, I don't know why, you've probably broken it. Hey, look at us on our walk, it's a lovely sunny day. It's it is still fairly cold, it actually stinks like the poo and fish around here, because we're by the river, but it's like an industrial estate and it's stuff there. It's a isn't it? Oh, oh I don't know, but it stinks, but... It's like rotten prawns and poo. It is, it's kind of disgusting, but... Oh. If you have our tummy, the clothing on, I will Tommy heel for the clothing on, and like, our pants are matching our coloured. We always match. Right? We I always know. match without even thinking about it. A bit embarrassing, actually. Yeah, but basically, we're heading towards Bits Park. It's like the main the park in Carlisle. It's like a play park and stuff in uh, the Sheep Mount. So, it was walking down the engine long in, because it's like a, a nice kind of scenic walk around the river so better than going past cars and main roads oh yeah it's definitely your holiday club shopping again and scott has found like a bum bag for holiday and he's also going to try on some shorts and a t-shirt as well again, like around your waist so you can kind of have them up oh. like up above your shoulder as well but there. Oh, there. yeah oh there yeah <laughs> ow <laughs> they're in 2k max you can't really tell oh yeah let's, let's have a look you cannot go like any longer. I don't think it's going to go there. No. I, I think it's meant to go like down here, not there. Right, everybody. So basically, I have my phone on flash because it's also just better because you know, the lighting's really dark. But basically, I've actually been sent a beautiful handbag from the COE bags, the C O E, and it's this is absolutely the beautiful micro. You lady did your handbag. It's a, a red colour. It's not a colour I would often go for in handbags, however, it's absolutely stunning. It does come with true straps, it comes with like a chain strap, which I personally love, and it also comes with yeah, the normal strap, but I haven't actually opened it, but it's a lovely red colour. It's like the shiny one, you know, the shiny type of bag. It comes with a beautiful box, I'll just kind of show you on the front. It comes with like a Dior box, a Dior bag, absolutely beautiful. So I will be filming a review on this, but oh my god. As you can already tell, I am absolutely in love. It's so pretty and it's yeah, definitely a type of bag I will be taking with me on holiday in six weeks' time. I am definitely going to look after it because obviously you know, these are bags are much more expensive. I mean, it is around £200 on the site, so it is pricey, but you definitely do pay for the quality and it comes nicely packaged. It's in the right shape. You don't have any damage to it. Absolutely beautiful, so highly recommend. Stunning. Oh, guys, honestly, I have been tired today because obviously, going on the run with Scott, who was very tiring last night, and obviously walking into town, like, it was very tiring and stuff, and being in the sun, it just basically takes out of you. But honestly, I'm actually chuffed in my handbags. So make sure to check out the COE bags. I will make sure to leave a link if I remember. If not, please let me know but there should hopefully be a review video up i'm hoping by the time this video is up but how pretty is this it's actually tiny compared to my or the lady your handbag because obviously that handbag is double the size of this but this is very good for you taking a holiday with me so i'm very happy and it's a very good size so yeah i'm chuffed with that but basically i am going to be ending this weekly vlog here i would never 
really end it a day early but the thing is i'm back at the work tomorrow so i'm gonna be working from 12 until 5 the whole day is basically going to work yeah, pretty much i know it's 25 hours but yeah, by the time i finish and stuff i'll just want to be going home have my tea and everything but yeah does anybody else like smell candles that haven't been burnt yet this one smells so good it's one that scott got me for christmas i think and i've i've not been able to burn it yet because i never really burn candles in my room um i usually kind of use them more in the other salon for relaxation and stuff but i probably should use them more often but i always lose my lighters and stuff so i just i never really bother but yeah anyway i am going to end this vlog here so if you guys have enjoyed please make sure to leave a thumbs up comment down below also subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye everybody